What's up? This is FCNZ with my first ever commentary, and uh, I don't actually intend to do commentaries on a regular basis, but uh, I, I wanted to try it out, and I just had a uh, half decent game that actually lasted more than five minutes. Uh, just to put you in context before I start, I'm a complete nub at StarCraft, so I don't need to flame this YouTube video. I know that I am. <laughs> absolutely horrific and my skill level is abysmal so I was practicing with Kunti SC from SC2GG and um, just for laughs and giggles I decided to commentate this game so let's get this started so I will be the Zerg as you see on the bottom left you can uh, notice my complete lack of splitting skills here my overlord finally getting underway and Kunti will be playing the Terran he's uh, up racing so he'll be playing the Terran and the top right map is Blue Storm as you can tell and uh, let's see so nothing much to say right now just producing drones trying to delay the inevitable defeat I'm already laughing at this this is gonna be hilarious. Let's actually speed it up a little bit. Oh wow, I wasn't on fastest. I, I yeah, I'm so new. I don't even know how to uh, watch demos properly. So there we go, on fastest now. <sighs> yeah, so my overlord slowly makes his way. And uh, let's see. Wow, my opponent was actually building, building a supply depot back there. And as you can probably already tell, I am 12 pooling. I think. No, actually, I think I did a 12 hatch in this game. I'm not sure. Well, we shall see. We shall see. So, uh, no, yeah, nothing really to say. Usually you'd uh, hear the commentators talking about past performances of a certain player, but being the complete noob that I am. No need for that. I can tell you that I've lost about 60 games so far, and I've won one where the player actually dropped when I was owning him on iCup. So, actually, no, I did a I did 12 pool. So, here's the pool. And me making some drones while the country is about to scout me with his SCV. And uh, what can I say? Blue Storm, you know, 1v1 map starting locations. Now I'm getting the gas because uh, since I'm playing a Terran uh, and my my noob self believes that going mutas is actually a really good idea and I love to watch Jadong play and Jadong has a pretty insane um, muta build on this map so I'm, I'm trying to emulate my hero here and uh, desperately trying to kill that SCV but uh, I seem to only be attacking the supply. I just realized that I was attacking the supply depot the whole time and I thought I had killed that SCV well <laughs> guess not so now my pool is down and for some reason I only have one drone working the gas even though I should have at least two my first six zerglings are out to go and hopefully destroy that supply depot while my overlord is slowly but surely scouting my opponent here one rack so far you don't really need much more than one barrack to kill me and uh, here at some point I expect that I will build a second hatchery now that I have 700 minerals. <laughs> and uh, we can see that I have some idle SCVs over here. Like every qualified noob should. And at this point I'm not building any overlords because I can't micro try to... Yeah, right now I'm probably microing that overlord completely failing at noticing that I don't have enough overlords, especially if I lose this one. So I'm not building any overlords yet, while my drones are just sitting there, chilling. 
smoking a bowl, having some fun, you know, watching the game, drinking a bud. My second hatchery, which is, uh, you go down after <laughs> Terran's second command center. Wow. <laughs> and apparently, <coughs> sorry for that, I finally decided to build an overlord. Well, I still have some drones chilling there. <laughs> this is really pathetic. Oh, and uh, an attempt by me to try and sneak in my six Zerglings and uh, hopefully destroy some SCVs, but he walled himself in, so that didn't work very well. So I decided to retreat my Zerglings to that spot. Well, I actually did build some more overlords. I'm surprised at how thoughtful I'm being. And this is obviously the build I was going for, so quick spire. Well, <laughs> if you could call that quick, <laughs> now that I have 400 something gas. So spire slowly but surely going down while I am uh, turtling in as every noob should do, building a few creek colonies, or sunken colonies, rather. More drones chilling in my base. And two zerglings. I don't know why, but there are two zerglings. This game actually lasted quite some time, um, especially compared to Here's my third sunken since I'm going for uh, Mutabale. I'm probably wrong. Everything I'm going to say here is probably tactically very wrong. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm defending because, you know, I expect that my Mutas will be out later than he could have an army of uh, rings, like illustrated here. And then I'll be sending a drone to the top left position, trying to be sneaky on a two-player map. <laughs> oh yes, while my defenses are slowly going up. And I've built an idolisk then, for once, because I usually go for mutalisks and then you'll see me completely forget about the hydralisk then here. And let's see an evolution chamber, because I've played against Kunti before and he decided to go three port raids, and I couldn't actually scout him properly with my overlord, so I decided, just in case, to get my uh, evolution up right away, get a creep colony here, and uh, eventually turn it into a sunken. If I remember correctly, it took me about ten minutes before I remembered I wanted to turn that one into a sunken, but hey, that's, that's another story. <laughs> and I actually have my first muta up, and my second muta. And for some reason I decided not to take that gas right now, or I probably just forgot about it because I was so caught up in microing my <laughs> scoutlings while my third expo is slowly going up. Oh, there we go, I actually, oh, I made it into a sunken, oh yeah, because I had mutalisks, yeah, that, make, that actually makes sense, I think. I already have anti-air with my mutas, so I don't really need a sunken, or I mean a spore, but rather a sunken and I think he knows exactly what I'm doing because, yeah, we have massive turrets going up pretty much everywhere he needs to have them. And, yeah, my mutas are chilling there, having a party while uh, I'm building more. Because as all noobs do, I never actually move quickly enough. There we go. Mutas are launched away. We shall track them in their glorious flight towards what I expect to be complete and other destruction. Let's see, we could actually be I could actually surprise myself as a, as a scouting overlord up north. And I think I was trying to yeah, I was trying to be sneaky with my mutas here and uh, go around him. I would fly right by his marines without ever noticing him. And just stop there and chill. Wow. And he's... Wow, he's not going to spot my mutas. 
before you did, but you didn't notice. So, mind you, we're not S-Class players. I mean, 